One of the big problems in this neighborhood in Sao Paulo, Brazil, is kids having kids. We're about to meet a mom who had her first child at 13 years old. She's now 18 and a mother of three, and the boy's father is in prison. Your sponsorship is making a huge difference for her and other young mothers just like her. They all look so much alike. Eles parecem muito. Yeah. <laughs> e Talita, quantos anos tem? 18. And Talita is 18. 18. And uh, I understand your husband's in prison right now? Uh, yesterday, she brought the kids to visit uh, oh, good. their dad. Yeah. And because he never uh, saw the, the, the little one. And it, it was in the first past, time yesterday? Yes, first time that he yeah. met uh, oh. the little one. Because uh, they they didn't visit the da uh, their dad in the past ten months. Mm. Um, so you had uh, Samuel when you were fourteen. Você teve Samuel quando você tinha 14 anos. Faltando um mês para fazer 14. Yeah, almost fourteen. One month. Uh, you're a very young mother. Você é uma mãe muito jovem. I have I have a son who's the same age as you, and uh, I wonder if you wouldn't do things differently. I know you love your, your boys, but if you if you could, would you do things differently? Yes, I would have done everything very different. Um, I would have studied and complete my studies because I stopped in the sixth grade. And now, at this moment, I would have finished, almost finished school. Yeah. I know your younger sister is here with you. Um, what what have you told her? What would you tell other young girls? Whether it's here in Brazil or in America or wherever. Yes, I, I would tell her. I always tell her when she she doesn't want to go to school that she had she has to go to school. And so my mom says to her that she must study and and finish her 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 studies. And also when she's older, she can get a a good job. And I would tell her and, and other girls my age or younger that uh, they should prepare themselves and they sh should especially study and finish the school to get a, a good job. Yeah. How can we help? How can we help you? The main need is uh, to find a school for them because if they're at school, I can do all the stuff and I can find a job or, or some work to do at least uh, at the time they are there. Let her know that I, I believe God is going to use her story and the boy's father's story to help others and steer other people from making the same mistakes that they made. I hope so. Yeah, I believe so. To hear her dreams and aspirations for her kids, to hear her desire to want to help other young mothers and, and give them an opportunity to make something of their lives and get their education and not make the mistakes she did is incredibly inspiring. And much of the inspiration that she's drawn has been from the work of World Vision and her family's life. Your sponsorship makes a huge difference. It means these kids have a fighting chance.